they were disciples when they were learning and apostles when they were sent. Shalom. Hi, everyone. My name is... It's okay, brah. I'll take it from here. Allow me. Bruh. Shalom and hi, everyone. My name is Frank. And today in our series of the Messengers of the King, we will be talking about Apostle John Bar Zebedi. Apostle John Bar Zebedi, Bar is son, all right? Bar Zebedi was a quiet, contemplative man of prayer who had a loving heart and reclined onto the chest of Yeshua. John was this type of guy. If there was a fire, he would calmly look at the situation and then call the fire department. Chilled, bruh. Bruh. When they arrived, they would find him sitting down or even laying down because he was just that chilled. But in John's chilled nature, he was hard. He was intolerant. He was stuck to his guns. That dude was tough. He was brutally honest about any given situation. Hashem chose John to be a writer concerning love and truth because he was strong and unbending. Hashtag no compromise. John was committed to both love and truth. He was a truth seeker and wanted to discover more. He was a visionary. John's heart literally hungered for the truth. He was asked by Yeshua to take care of his mother. His mother. I don't know about you, but to be asked by Yeshua, the King, the Savior, the Redeemer, bruh, bruh, like legit, this guy was there before and during the creation of the world. He made me. Hey, that's tough, man. But John willingly accepted. Now that's love, man. Do you remember in the Gospel of John when John himself said, the disciple whom Jesus loved? Yeah, he wasn't bragging. He was just flexing. I'm just playing. He was just emphasizing on the grace of God upon his life. Now, the interesting, the interesting thing is, John and Kepha would be sent out together. You can imagine the contrast in styles. If you haven't seen the video on Kepha, Bach, Jonah, check it out. We will put it in the description below. So, tell us, can you see yourself in Apostle John? Do you love knowledge, wisdom and truth? Are you always looking for an answer? Are you uncompromising in the truth you know and hear? Tell us in the comments below. Until we meet again, Chaverim, Shalom, and please don't forget to subscribe.